Okay, I'm going to do some prep for my low prep game coming up in uh, at noon, so it's 10 in the morning, and uh, I've got a game at noon. So let's look through. Uh, the first thing I do is I kind of go through character sheets and take some quick notes. Um, so I've asked for the latest character sheets, and I am waiting for those, but I'm going to get started because some of these probably are not... Um, not really going to change. So I have a OneNote open in the other screen. That's not OneNote. All right, here's my OneNote. And I've just started to keep track of who's going to be in this game. So these are the people that have signed up for the game. And so I have uh, basically their hero name, their secret identity. So Ghost doesn't have one. And so their secret identity name. And then I'm going to probably actually add a uh, another insert right I'm gonna add another and then let's do an insert above just so I have headers uh, da -da -da -da, insert above so this is hero name secret ID and notes i guess i'll just leave it at notes that way i can put all kinds of stuff in there okay let's widen this out all right so we can put a bunch of notes in there so that's what's going to go on over on the side over here so i'm going to move that to my other screen and uh so here is uh he's got a secret id um he has a cycle he's overconfident he is hunted by the current government so this is actually going to be probably a Naga hunted because they took over. Um, yep. They took over uh, for the police, basically it's a national police now and they're not good, not nice police. And then uh, protective of the oppressed. Okay, so that's pretty much everybody. And then um, hunted unknown. Ah, thank you. I love those. All right, so hunted unknown. Let's maybe we can explore who that is, right? So let's look at that. All right, so that's one character, and I know Max is a um, university science. Uh, in the science department at the university. I know that's his background. And he got his powers accidentally because someone was stealing something. He picked it up and it imbued him with power. All right, so let's look at Ghost real quick. Ghost is an odd character because uh, she's kind of not human and kind of doesn't relate to humans. So let's look at these complications real quick. Where'd they go? They're in here somewhere. Or not. Could they really be not on here? Thought I saw them already. Let's see. Here they are. Okay, so she looks like a Starfield silhouette. She is mute. She can communicate only through radios. So that's kind of interesting. We can play that up in this game. And maybe she'll have to talk to someone's cell phone or something. Might be interesting. All right. No prior memory, has no functional memory of Earth and society. That's interesting. Single-minded mission focus. This is um, kind of antisocial. That's it. Could be interesting. So uh, she's either on mission, fulfilling some task, or she's wandering somewhere off Earth. That's kind of head in the stars. Okay, but that's kind of the nature of her character. She's odd, but. Um, Peter, when he plays this character, does a good job of just kind of staying in the game and all that. So we don't, I don't, it's not like I'm worried about it. I just uh, think that's an interesting thing. All right, let's look at Little Rocket. Little Rocket. This is a brand new character that just got introduced last week. So let's see what he's got. He's got a secret ID, ID so he wears a suit and all that kind of stuff. I don't think he has instant change. Maybe he does instant change because he's really fast. So he can change clothes really fast. Um, he four times normal. He's protective of innocence. Blah blah blah. It's a cheap, easy 15 points. Distinctive features. He's a midget. Oh, he's tiny. And he's cl 
has claustrophobia. Okay, no hunteds, no DNPCs. Okay, so hmm, I don't see anything to mine out of that. Let's see, he eats a lot. He protects the innocent. So I mean, this we could use the threat of hurting people. All right. So all right, what else we got? I guess. I guess. I guess we gotta play with them a little bit more and find out what else turns up. So he's not going to be a focus on this, except maybe. Uh, all right, so let's look at Wild Thing. So this is Kaidi. She's uh, from Africa uh, and picked up some ancient mystical powers from African gods. Okay, so she has a dependent NPC. This is Yuba. All right, that's let's key up on that. Maybe that's possible. Let's see. And she is unaware of characters adventuring. All right. I can see that being useful. What else we got? Uh, she takes extra stun from high voltage electricity. Ooh. Well, there's a potential for a villain that does some electrical damage. I kind of like that. Mwahaha. Uh, uncommon. Well, that's up to me, I guess. And we've got Hunted by Viper, which is Naga. And let's put that in there. All right. Hunted by Viper, secret ID, distinctive features, unusual facial features, easily concealed, notice and rec So I guess I want to explore that a little bit and find out how she hides her distinctive features in secret identity. And then she has a super villain grudge, so someone that she's bugged before. All right, well, she's got a bunch of stuff we can do. All right, so let's look at my notes here real quick. So I've got um, Ghost is Mute and Stays on Mission. So let's put that. I'm going to put that down there, too, because I think it might be interesting to tap into her emotions as a human with maybe a little child, maybe a boy or a girl who crushes on her, maybe? Like a 10-year-old? That might be interesting. Uh, Jerry, we, we don't know. He's a mystery. He doesn't really have anything we can mine right now. And then we've got Hunted, uh, Current Government Freak. Okay, good. So this is Naga. Alright, so it seems like we're going to have uh, some Naga involved. We've got a couple hunteds, and then this was interesting. Unknown. Let's uh, bold that. So we've got unknown, and then we've got supervillain grudge. So that's potential. All right. So let's look and see what else we can do. While tabletop simulator loads up, let's look at. Let's keep this on top while it loads. All right. So that's coming up, and when it starts up, I'll switch over and get rid of that. Uh, intro music. Um, okay, so I think this adventure idea, let's mine this uh, a little bit more. All right, let's load this table up. Whoops. All right, let's create a single player game. And let's load up my work table. Yeah, it'll take a little bit. Meanwhile, we'll switch back to our notes. All right, so um, we need a villain. And we need a villain motivation. So like, what is the villain trying to accomplish and that the heroes are going to get in the way of? And we need a setting. And we need hooks. So how are the heroes going to get into the setting? They may provide that. I may give them the opportunity to do that. But let's figure out who the villain is. So we definitely got Naga. So let's put that in. We're going to have Naga on the scene. And then we've got an unknown for max resistance. And I'm going to put max unknown. And then wild thing has Naga and a grudge. So that could be something. I don't know who that's going to be. All right. So we have an unknown villain, and we need to tap in on that. Let's see. 
who would that be? I don't know. Let's figure it. Maybe we'll just go through and look through villains and see what stands out. All right. So maybe someone with electrical powers might be good. And then a villain motivation. So this would be the crime or the heist. So one thing I was thinking of is uh, not the ultimates, the uh, Eurostar. Um, because I want to bring them up, and Pantera could be uh, involved in that. So, uh, someone from Eurostar. Uh, captured by Naga. They have a grudge between each other. But Eurostar stays in Europe, and Naga is the North American Gendarme Agency. So, that's their new you know, name as a police force. Uh, they're not Viper anymore. Um, so, Naga... Uh, may have captured someone like uh, Dirac or something like that um, and taken him to a Naga holding area, a cell, and then some other members of Eurostar come to rescue him, come to get him out and beat the crap out of Naga. Uh, and the heroes get in the middle. So I don't know if any of that makes sense, but... Um, uh, oh. So m maybe this would be a good setup for that because maybe we could have Dirac uh, show up. And so what's Dirac doing there? So let's see. Let's go. So Dirac could be in Millennium City for some reason. And then he ends up getting captured by Naga. Because Okay, so what would Dirac be doing? All right, hold on a second. Let's pull up Dirac and have a look at him. Okay, I'm going to, let me go grab Dirac. Let's uh, open, 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 open. All right, I think the hero table's all loaded. Let's switch to black. Because I have to set the scene real quick. So let's move this out of the way for now. Players will come to the table with their characters. Villains, Volume 3, Villains, okay, Volume 2, that's what I want. Okay. Or Pantera. Maybe, because Pantera could be Kaidi's hunted as well. She's a wild thing kind of person, so. Uh, but then we've got someone else that hooks in with uh, Scorpia. So Pantera... Human DNA to introduce animal characteristics. See, that's kind of so similar. All right. So, the Pantera is a 488-point character. So maybe that's it. Maybe Pantera and Durak. Pantera barely qualifies as human in many respects, although she's still intelligent. The predatory instincts and bloodlust she receives. For example, she can speak, but rarely says more than a word or three at a time. All right, let's see what else she's got. She prefers to eat raw meat, blah, blah, blah. She's been known. Shiny pretty objects become angry if not allowed to have them. She's often difficult to control. Okay, so maybe she gets out and Dirac is gonna... Uh, so 
So I think we're going to go down this path. She's stronger, tougher, faster, and more agile than normal, and also has heightened senses and claw-like fingernails. It's good to refresh on your villains to just kind of catch up with them. I didn't create the character, so it's not like it's innate. Let's see. Combat Patera usually starts by fighting cautiously, then switches to an aggressive attack uh, when she spots an opening or senses a weakness. If enraged, she simply leaps with claws and fangs bared. She's not much of a team player, but obeys Fiacho's orders. All right, so here's the funny thing. In this campaign, Fiacho would be vanished. He's too much of a conqueror he wants to own Europe so unless he's in charge of Europe and he agrees to destroyer being the supreme which I don't think he would I think he wants global conquest as well so I think he'd be vanished so Fiacho was, um, in this campaign I wasn't planning on having him because he's a threat to Destroyer, like he was, he would oppose Destroyer. So they would just vanish him at the beginning. So he's gone. So what does the rest of the team do? And here's what I think. I think Mentala takes over as team leader and she keeps the team organized. So she used to work with Destroyer. She would be ideal uh, to, to actually, so she, but she hates Dr. Destroyer because of his poor treatment of her. But she's also the kind of person, so she's glad he's dead, but of course he's not dead. Uh, if and when she finds out Destroyer is still alive, she will actively try to disrupt his schemes which may put Eurostar at peril. So here's the deal. I think this would make sense, but she would... Um, hmm. I think... I think she would... submit and play the long game with Destroyer. So I think she could be a problem for destroyer but subvert him right isn't that so try to disrupt his schemes so i think that she would play nice fiato wouldn't he just there's no way he's too political he's too so mentala has taken over as the leader so she helps to control pantera and then we've got durak so let's look at durak All right, so Durak is super strong, and that's all he is. He's just massive, and he gets mad. He gets mad. He is hunted by, which just until doesn't exist anymore, so I'm not sure who he'd be hunting. He's not hunted by anyone at this point. Um, so he loves to fight. He hates Russia. Uh, contempt for normal humans. Public identity. Okay. So I want to use him, and what would he be doing in Millennium City? So let's see. He served Eurostar loyalty since being a part of the team has given him plenty of opportunities to get pissed off and hurt things. He's nothing but a thug who got lucky. He loves to fight and break things. His superpowers have just made him all the more contemptuous of ordinary people. If you're not superhuman, you're just not. All right, so, but he, what else? So maybe he's not the right guy. Maybe. Carries a lot of rage and bitterness, takes it out with fire. All right, so if given the chance to reveal a reverse condition, 
even if that meant risking his life, he'd take it. That's interesting. Since he knows he's cut off from many types of entertainment, Furmacher is willing to spend prodigious amounts of money on those types he can enjoy, like buying recorded music or movies by mail order. Despite making so much money as a part of your star, he's perpetually strapped for cash and sometimes puts side jobs on his... So this is it right here. He pulls a side job on his own to keep his pocket lined. So I guess Fuhrmacher is the guy. So how does he get along with the others? Let's see, is there more? Yeah. He has a crush on Scorpia. He knows nothing can even co ever come of it, but he still looks out for her. Although not as powerful or versatile as the likes of Firewing, Fearmocker possesses a useful suite of fire-based stuff. And this advice in this book is always dumb. If he's too powerful, tone him down. If he's not powerful enough, bump him up. This is a useless campaign info. I don't know who wrote that and why, but all right. I don't see, uh, so he would take a side job. All right, so Fuhrmacher. Let's look at him. And he has contempt for normals, public identity, two times stun from water attacks, but we don't have any of those. All right. So, do, 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 do. All right, so he, Naga could capture one or both of those guys. And that would bring the rest of Eurostar to come to Millennium City to free them. So why is Pure Mocker here? Let's say he's just going to do some kind of a, a bank robbery of some kind, maybe. That seems reasonable. All right, so what we're going to do on the table to get started, it's uh, 10.30. We have an hour and a half, really an hour. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get done in that period of time. All right, so the first thing I want to do is load up terrain types. I just want to get a dark terrain, rough stone, just for the, the background. So the way I get that background now is I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to uh, go to custom, and I'm going to grab this. So I just copied it to the clipboard. I'm going to stop editing. Then I'm going to hit new. I want a new one. Okay, so there's my new one right here. So I'm going to go put that in here. All right, import. All right, so now I've got the same kind of thing. Now I need to name it, and we're going to call this um, bank robbery. So we put that on here, it creates bank robbery and puts in, gives us a little link so we can go back to start. And uh, I usually put these links on the character that, uh, this one is a kind of a generic map. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do terrain type. And I'll put it on there just so we can find it later. I'm just gonna put it right there, see what's this, this is, uh, Oh, I just put that back to start. So I figure if I use these as bases and I'll start creating a more like this and then have little things on there that we can put on. So that way it just shows up as kind of the bottom and we can play around to get through the other stuff. So let's go back to bank robbery. All right, so now what I wanna do is bring out some toys to put on here. So let's see how this goes. Components, no, 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 no. Saved objects. Hero and terrain. So I've got modern buildings, streets, terrain floor tiles, and vehicles. So let's take some of these out. And oh, we're going to be outside. So we're going to have streets. And we're going to have some parks in nature because I always like that in the city. All right. Modern buildings. Did I get one of those already? Nope. 
gonna need that. All right, so I've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, all right, so let's see what we got here. Let's start with floor tiles. Search. All right, so I do have a bunch of different kinds of tiles. What I really want is um, I don't really have city streets. That's what I really need is like a street tile. <sighs> okay, so this is part of my problem with prep. Why I'm trying to do easy prep because stuff drives me nuts. All right, so let's back off that and go to streets. Maybe I've got some street tiles in here. Okay. So there's a brick tile. All right, so here's some streets with sidewalks. That and that are the same thing. That's dumb. But these are like one-way streets. All right, and they're not really that big. So let's measure this from here across the street. Two meters. Oh, it's uh, two inches. So I'm going to scale this to one inch is two meters. So it's two inches across the street. So that's four meters. And that's not big enough. So we're going to just increase the size here. Now let's measure so that I get the base right, right? So that's four. I doubled the size. So four times two is eight meters. And the three meters is 10 feet. Uh, it still needs to be a little bigger, I would think. I'd like this to be two lanes, right? So let's measure one more time. Let's see how far we get. So five inches. I don't know. I just want it wide enough that we can put cars on it and stuff, right? Whoops. All right. So we're going to measure it to... How come I increased it more? It's got six. So it's like six across, right? Is that big enough? Six. Twelve meters. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we'll, we'll say that's big enough. So let's go back to this, which is like what, F1. All right, so let's lay out a couple of streets. And let's... Uh, Let's see if we can turn on snapping. That might help. Grid. Snapping. I don't know, let's try both. See if that works. All right. So first off, let's have the city, the the street, be like. Here. So I'm just trying to prove to myself and. Anyone else that needs it proved, but mostly me, that this can actually be done. Clone. And let's make another street. So with snapping, we can get it to go together like this. Can we? What if we bring this out? What does that look like? Looky there. Too bad I don't have a. Oh, I actually do. All right. Okay, I can go with that. <clears throat> I 
and then I guess let's do that again. Copy, paste. This time we'll turn it around this way. You know, we'll live with the fact it says slow, right? All right, I'm cool with that. And then let's do another one of these. Copy, paste, and then we'll put it in place, right? Good enough. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's nudge these down a bit. Do, 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 do. There. And I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. All right, but now what do we do about this other... All right, so let's get some buildings. Let's see how long this takes to do. I'm really curious. All right, so let's go to modern buildings. Oh, well first, let's lock these down, right? So I want to do all of this. I'm going to hit L. Now they're locked, so they're not going to get moved around, right? Okay. So let's go to buildings. And search those for, I don't know. Let's just get some buildings. <clears throat> so this is not very helpful. I should name all of these, right? Because they're not, I don't even know what I'm looking at. So who knows what these buildings really are? That one might be a little obvious. That's good. But this one, this one, this one. So this one and this one look like they go together, kind of. Wonder what that looks like. So if we put that over here, and then we grab this one, it's like a corner building, right? doesn't like this snap very well, does it? Neither of them do. So that's fine, you know? I think I'm going to be okay with it just being like that. I'm not going to mess around with it too much. All right. And the roofs don't exactly match, but close enough. Again, we want to make this fast, put the idea out there of what this is. So I don't even know what that is. So let's see. Not helpful. So most of the stuff, what the heck is this? A door. Hi. All right. So I don't even know if these buildings are like to proper scale. And it doesn't look like they are. So maybe that's part of my problem here is that I'm trying to put something down that isn't even the right size. So let's bump it up. Bump it up. Bump it up. Okay. So, all right. Let's check the doorway. It's a... Uh, Maybe an inch, right? Yeah, okay. So that's probably okay. All right. Ooh. Well, that went just right, didn't it? How'd that happen? Okay, so now let's get this one bigger to match. needs to be bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. Okay. So, you know, it's not the same thing, but who cares? It's close enough. All right. Then, um, what's this? <laughs> 
Okay, it looks like we need to lower the gravity just a bit. That's a bit much, huh? All right. Could even do an alley between these two. How's that? Oh, there's doors on this side. And it's all in Russian. That's nice. All right, let's see. So, all right, but I shouldn't have put the bank in the middle. Yeah, I think so. So let's move this over here. Let's get this out of the way. And move this to right here. All right, cool. Let's get some more buildings. Uh, So we've got some cars. We don't want junky cars. That one's broken. That one's got guns on it. Okay, I think this is too big. Let's measure it. So this car is a four-door sedan. And so I think from one end to the other, it should be 10, 12, maybe 15 feet, 12, okay. So see, that's huge, six inches, that's giant. So let's make it smaller. Wait, if I scale it, what does that look like? Beep, beep. See, it's at four, what if I put it at Two, two, two. So now if I measure it, it's uh, bigger than 10 feet. That's about right, I think. Let's see how it looks on the street. All right. A little small, but may have made our tiles a little too big. Close enough. Okay, so I'm going to put more here. And that's fine, they can just throw these around. Okay, that's because we're on hex that these are not exactly going right. That's fine. Don't care. All right, so that guy can't park. And we got a motorcycle. That's a quad. What else we got? A bus. A big truck. Killer car. Tank. Not all these are very useful. There's a sports car. And there's a sports car. Yeah. So we got, oh. What do we got here? Not what I thought. Delete. I was thinking that might be an armored car. So this, this could be the armored car. Let's bring that out. That's huge. Shrink it down, shrink it down. Yeah, okay. So that could be our armored car going to the bank. Maybe Duroc could be in the armored car. What's this? A train. We don't want trains. Train, train, train. What the heck is this? Oh, helicopter. Okay, so this is one of the reasons I don't enjoy this very much because there's just so much stuff and none of it's right. So that's like a, whoops, wrong one. Is this a Humvee? Yeah, see, that's a Humvee. That's not, maybe that's what Viper shows up in. Whoops. Uh, 
All right, we'll hold on to that. That could be a Viper vehicle. Uh, what's this? Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, that's like this tricked out car. Don't need that for this. Like this, a lot of this is like car wars or something, so. What's this? Just like a box truck? Yeah. So we'll just use these. Let's uh, shrink this down to be 222 two, two, like the other one. Oh, guess what? This is a totally different scale. That's a little too big. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and it's still too big. So I don't even know if this will shrink down far enough, but let's see. Minus, minus, minus. Yeah, I won't go any further. See, these are probably not big enough. I want it to be able to hold a person that's going to walk through those doors. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, it's fine. All right, what have we got here? Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Let's do scale again and see if I can force it down to 0.2, 0.25. Yeah. Okay, that worked. Sure. All right, so we've got some of those. We'll figure that out. Move this back here. There. All right. So it's now 11 o'clock. I should open the game table in a half hour. I don't think I'm going to build this in time. So let's save what we've done so far. We'll come back to it another time. I'm just going to use city streets. So. We hit pack, and it packs all that stuff up and saves it. All right, good. So we can come back and work on that. As a, the terrain is like the most time-intensive stuff in the world. All right, so what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to go back here, clear. All right, and I'm going to go into my stuff that we've made before. And I always export them and save them as One World Scenes. So here's City Street and city intersection. So let's have a look at both of those. So I'm going to pull this one out, and I'm going to pull this one out. Let's see what they look like. So all we do is we take this bag when it's cleared, we just grab it and drop it in. And it gives me a little link I can put down, and then let's just have a look. So I'm going to put this on city street here. And I click, and this is the intersection. Let's see what it looks like. Nothing. So we build. Okay, so I think we need to remove this. And remember, we ran a game with this before. to get those city that city tile and use that um, all right so that's one okay let's look at the other clear clear okay let's drop this this one in let's see what this looks like okay we're gonna back it up back it up and we're gonna put this down to right next to it all right so let's click through on this. Okay, that's one of my backgrounds. Let's see. So I must have built this at some point. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's got problems. It's got a few. Holy crap. Okay, what do we got going on here? Shader didn't load. So it's got some trees that didn't work. Oh, I, I, this is one that Sand Crab made. All right, so there's. you can see it's green. 
that's where this error, that's what I do. I find where the error is. So this car doesn't have a, uh, wherever it's loaded, this uh, person here deleted. That's on GitHub. Why? Oh, it's the diffuser. So this is the diffuser image, car out D, and it's on post image, which is a crappy place to store stuff. It's free. So I'm just going to delete that car. So I'm going to right click and delete. Now let's find the other green model. Can we find, there it is right there. There's something right there that isn't a thing anymore. And that's at Photo Libra. So we're going to just delete that. And where's the other green? There it is. Do, 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 do. What is that? Another car that doesn't have a texture anymore. So we're going to delete that. Now what? <clears throat> Where's the thing with the green outline? That's what we've got to find. So this is when I did a warehouse thing, and again, Sand Crab helped build this. Bless him. But I don't see what's missing. All right, so this is going to load with an error because I can't find the thing that's broke. Could that be it right there? Nope. But that would have been one of those other things that came up, so maybe it won't come up now. All right, I don't know where that is. Let's see if we can find that one. So sometimes what you can do is go ahead and close this, and then we'll repack the scene. So it's going to make save our changes. The current zone is busy. Oh, is it now? some pretty good errors. Broke. It broke one world. Well, that's horrible. Look, it keeps raising the one world thing up in the air. Okay. I guess we're going to go with the other city street because that's all I got. So, it's uh, going to have to reload the table, I guess. All right, so. Let's go back 60 seconds. Let's see if that's far enough. Nope. So this is like on a big frame. So he loaded this. This is just a stock image, and then he's put a bunch of crap on top of it. That's what I need is just empty streets. I'll put the buildings on. I should save these buildings. All right, 76% got to wait. So unknown supportive format. TikTok. TikTok. Okay, so now it's loading the hero mod. All right, so let's see if we can find this. Let's move this out of the way. Ah, there it is. Right there. So is it okay it doesn't have texture? Probably all these cars 
that the images are stored somewhere that someone deleted it. But you know what? Little different colored cars are fine. They're better if they have texture, but where the heck is the green? Whoops, too far. Where the heck is the glowy green car or whatever? All right, well, let's see if I can pack this. See if it's totally broke. Recalling zone objects. Broke, broke, broke. All right. Oh, what the heck? Hello, building. You used to be a bank. Now you're falling all over the place. So I know you used to be over here. I think at one point he had things off to the side of the table. It was a different table. So he had things floating over there. Why can't I move that now? Oh dear. that's fine good enough so let's lock it yeah nope so that was his attempt at making like a a bank where you could take the lid off okay let's lock that I go to two. Yeah. Nope. You know what? We're just going to delete this bank. Too much of the hassle. Is that car even going the right way? Nope. All right. So, let's see. Um, I know. Let's take, uh, well, okay, let's find the rest of this stuff. Some of it flew off the table, right? Nope. Okay. So, all right, so we've got all these little buildings. That's cool. But where's this? Oh, there it is. So let's just let's just delete this. All right. Uh, t no. Okay. Let's delete this. Five matching. No. But I'm gonna just delete these since they don't work anyway. And this one. Let's find this one. This one's completely broke. So it would be a dot somewhere. What the heck is that? they are. Delete. Delete. Okay, let's, um, the 
this guy, I hate this guy. He has so many models. And then he deleted or moved them all, so none of these work. Makes me mad. And so it leaves just these little random dots all over the place because... can't find the model and in all these little details like this guy right here whatever this was it's not around anymore so it makes me mad people do that so you got to like and I think there's a mod or something that lets you download all the images to your own computer and then do what you want with them from there but that's so much work it's like why can't people just put their stuff up online and leave it there well, now I'm going to search tops of buildings, too, because that's a thing. See, like that right there? That was probably rubble or something. So it kind of makes me mad that you have to go through and, like, find all the little things that people broke. So I don't think that's one. And these are buildings where you can take the tops off. So we did a warehouse scene in this. And so for now, we may say that this is the, here, let's just put the lid back on that. And we'll say that this is a Viper garage, maybe like a outpost or something. It doesn't have to be. All right, that's fine. So let's just look at the tops of these other buildings. Some there's little birds or something that people put up there, and then they delete them. That's irritating. All right, let's see if I can pack this now that I've made those changes. Yeah. Oh dear. So if I sink, is it gonna? Gonna go put them back. Oh, I don't think it did. Okay. So, can I pack this? That car didn't make it. All right. Build it again, see what else comes up with an error. Bunch of crap, dang it. Okay, let's try just deleting that. And deleting that. This takes as much prep to fix other people's stuff they broke as it does to build your own stuff. So some people love doing this, and uh, not me. I don't like playing Minecraft either. My daughter loves it. She's playing it next to me right now, actually. I hate this stuff. I'm trying to get her to do it. Hey, build me some maps. You like to do that stuff. Why are there birds on the ground over here? They don't belong over here. Go away. Go away. Oh, look at that. I don't even know what those are, but they're broke. Delete. Oh, they're vehicles. Delete. All these vehicles are broke. Build maps. That's what I need to do. Get her to build maps. Destiny, you need to build maps for me. I just want a bunch of generic maps. And then I'll go, yeah, that one's pretty good. Let's use that one. Did I get them all? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, what if I do this? All right, let's repack quick before it breaks. All right, let's reload it. Build. Come on, just build. Dang it. Something else is broke. But it's just like that. It's just like, what if I just get rid of this? Nope. Can I just delete it from here? Why can't I just delete it from here? I must supply a model. This is infuriating. It's going to be a little dot that I can't. It could be inside of a building. See, there's a bird just hanging out in the middle of the air right there. What the heck is going on with that? Little dots, like inside buildings even. That's the thing. So here's a good example. I go inside this building, there might be a dot inside here. Ugh. Oh, I wonder if I go top down, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So let's get rid of this. Import. Cancel. Delete. Import. Cancel. Pack. So sad. Build. There's a green guy right there. Okay, so that's this one. We can just delete this. Import. Cancel. Where's the next green guy? That'd be nice if they built in a zoom to object. So we can easily find what's broke. This is that same one. I don't even know where it is. What if I click this? And this one is that car right there. So I'm glad it highlights some of them. All right. So that's there. Let's pack them. Pack. Uh, interesting. It left the car behind again. Maybe it needs to be locked. All right. So let's see. Let's look at it again. City streets. Build. Why? Delete. Import. Cancel. And there's that one I can't find. Dang it. Okay, so this map's going to have one error. But at least only one now. This green's black. Can't find anything else in here. All right. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. I to Pack. Pack it up. Rebuild. Keeps finding new ones. There's that that car. Import. Oh, what the hell? Why not? Let's see what that breaks. Figurine. So it's like a person or a dog or something. It's an animal. Yeah, yeah, they should, they should Great. Uh, 
load up the whole table. So if I lock it and pack it, will it go now? Nope. That's fascinating. It doesn't even want to be there. All right. Yeah. So let's rebuild and see if we get any more errors. Okay. No idea where that guy is. All right. So let's put some trees down here. So let's see, we've got some parks yeah. and nature. Whoops. Search. Okay, and let's put some water right there. I think I've got some water. All right, so that's fine here. Let's get some water. I think I've got that on terrain and floor tiles. This one. Look, a cute little pond surrounded by trees. There you go. All right, let's pack that and we're done. And it's 11.20, so we are just... All right, so now I'm going to pack. Can't get, can't help that error. Uh, let's, so let's make sure it loads one more time, and then we're going to export it. So you got to build it. Got that one error I can't find, and it's all built. All right, so now we're going to just do an export, and that makes it into a bag. Okay, and then we save this bag. Save object, yeah, that's not in the root. Goes in hero terrain. No, hero one world scenes. There we go. Save and overwrite what was there because it had all the errors in it. All right. <clears throat> we need to grab some villains real quick. Um, and then we're good. So let's go ahead and load the correct table now. And get the game table up. Do, 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 champions. Do, 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 do. Which one? I guess this one. Oh, nope, can't do this. All right, hold on, unless I save the table. That's probably what I'll do. Okay. Got to put up a 
bunch of normals out there, and I got to put. Okay. <clears throat> All right, who are all these people? Sparks, okay, these are agents, we don't need them. Uh, hero, minis, heroes. Save. Okay, so they've already been saved, we're just gonna get rid of them, all right. So they're going to bring it at the table anyway. All right, so we don't need any of that. What is this? It's not named. Oh, it's got my Naga dudes in it. A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, and then an anaconda. Perfect. And we don't need those. So let's pull those out and delete them. Okay, so we've got some Naga dudes, got an Anaconda, might need more of those, yeah? So let's pull this out, let's, okay. And then we got a letter me. We're going to change this to, oh yeah, it's on six already. Perfect. So let's, one, two, three, four. Oh, I should have cloned him. So let's start at five. Okay, and then we're gonna clone this guy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's grab all these guys and drop them in the bag. And then we can pull them back out when they're renamed. I'll go in there. One, two. Where, where'd they go? Where did they go? Oh, they landed over. How come they didn't all go in here? So I can only do one at a time? So where'd the other guys go? Hope they didn't go in that bag. So let's see what else we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing nine. Where did nine go? He just vanished. I'll find him later. Okay, so for now we're gonna bring this guy out. I'm gonna copy him and paste him. And then I am gonna grab this to make it easier. Uh, and I'm going to open a browser and grab that JSON file and put it in a notebook because I can't figure out how to duplicate. All right. 
Wait, what? That's not right. Let's do that again. Control A, Control C. That ain't right. This is what's right. Control A. Oh, what am I doing? Nice job, Jim. Okay. Let's do it this way. Interesting. So this is why we try to prep and test. I'm 28. Uh, let's look and see. Hmm. All right. Back to. Naga Fang. Copy link. That's uh, real different. Okay, so I'm actually going to open the raw file, copy everything, and put it in a notebook. Do, 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 do. Add new. We're going to call this a fang, and we're going to change it to black. All right, so there's a fang. Uh, control V. So all the JSON is right there. Oh, why? Grief. Naga fang. All right, that'll do. All right, so now let's test it. Be sure if I open this up and I do fang, and then I do a number times 10, should give me fang one, two through 10. All right, so there's our fangs right there. So let me get the anaconda. Naga Anaconda Let's just get the raw Go back to the notebook Add new anaconda. Whoops. Anaconda. Good. Make it black. Paste in the JSON file. Fix the stupid name. Thought I did that already. All right. Very good. So that's the heavy weapons guy. So now I should be able to do Anaconda 5 or something. Anaconda pound x oh, 5. And there we go. 1 through 5. All right. I'm happy enough with that. It'll all go away when I if I save the table. Okay, so let's make sure I've got
All right, I have them all. There's one anaconda. We need to have more than that. All right, so what do we got? Here, let's uh, let's line all you guys up. All right. Oops. You go back there because you're needed. Can't roll dice if you're not there. All right. So. Two, three, four, ten. All right, let's do that. Ten. How do we have two tens? How about I nine? Okay. So there's ten. Nine, you're at the end of the line. There's eight. Are all these guys disappearing too? Okay, 10, nine. There it is. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Where's five? Six, five, four. We're missing three. Three, two, one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the bag in this order. One because it's always last in, first out. So I got all those. We need five of these guys just so we have enough. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to rename this down to, whoops, need more room. Put this down to one again. Clone him. It's one, two, three, four, five, right? So we're going to grab all these guys, drop them in here. And there's five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and put these guys in here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm going to save this just in case. Oh, I need to name it. Cancel. Now I got agents. And let's save it just to be sure yeah. that I don't have to worry about where it is. Minis heroes? Nope. Minis villains. All right. So. Okay, got to wrap it up, boys. All right, let's make sure that I've got the right objects, saved objects, hero, scenes, city streets, right? Let's see what this looks like, make sure it's the right one. right 
Got the one arrow error. And there it is. All right, so we got it. So this is our city street. We're good. Let's uh, clear. Clear. And let's load the start page. Let's save it just like this. Games, save, champions, and let's go ahead and save it with today's date, 8-1. Okay, so now I gotta go to multiplayer. Back out to the main menu. Yes. Okay, and let's load our saved game. And we're ready for players to join. Thanks for watching.